you're definitely going to want to pay attention to this morning's Consumer Confidential. Investigative and consumer correspondent Vicki Wynn is talking cookies. Mm, even though we have some here, but not the kind we eat. Mm. That's a good this one. is important, though. Really, this it is. is. That's a great chocolate chip cookie, though. But we're not talking about these cookies. We're going to eat these cookies, but we're not talking about <laughs> these cookies. This is all about privacy and security online. So take out your phone. Uh, take out your tablet. Take it out right now. We'll give you a few seconds to do Wait, that. I want to get mine. Uh, because what Vicky is about to show you um, is exactly how to protect your information. So we've given them some time. I like the way there. we're doing it this way because quite often, Vicky, people no, explain let's, it. Let's clear the monitor. And you so don't we really can, understand. Oh, yeah. We oh, can yeah. see. oh, good idea. Okay. All right. I'll be okay. so far from you. Okay. I'll go over here. Okay. Oh, thanks, Al. All right, there there you buddy, Al. Okay. All right. Very good. We got a first question. Okay. Craig? Uh, yes. So uh, we hear the word cookie all the time. What, what actually is a cookie? What okay. should we do when we see them? I'm going to take a page out of Dylan Dreyer's book. Al, will you hold this for me Absolutely. for now? Absolutely. Oh All right, I'm going to use an everyday object and okay. try to explain a complex topic, and it may or may not work, but stay with me. Okay, a cookie technically is a small text file, and it contains data from your web browser. Mm -hmm. Think about a cookie in real life. What happens when you eat a cookie? You make crumbs. Mm -hmm. What happens when there's crumbs? They there's a trail. They, yes. they lead you somewhere. Oh. So what happens on our website is that trail leads me to Al. It reminds me, oh, this is Al Roker. Here's his username. Here's his password. I'm not going to make him log in every time Keeps he comes my to preferences the site. that I look yeah, at. Yeah, like, oh, Craig likes sports news over politics. Let me make sure I get him to the sports. Chanel, last time she was there, she was looking for a red sweater. Maybe she yeah. wants a pink sweater. And that's why the next time I open my phone, all of a sudden I have all these red sweaters that I can buy and exactly. my jeans and what have you. So if you want to turn those off, I thought, and I was wrong, that you had to accept it in order to continue. You don't. You do not. So how do you turn off the setting? All right, so let me can see I if we can get cookie? this. Yes, now, yeah, thank yeah, you so yeah, much for really trading off. Cookies. But, you know, you got to think of it like cookies are like life. Sometimes they just make things better for your computer. Okay, so we're on this website here. Okay. Now, look at the very bottom. You see where it says right there accept mm -hmm. all cookies? Yeah. A yeah. lot of times an obnoxious window comes up right, right. when you're on. Yeah. If you X out of that or you just keep scrolling and it eventually fades away, that does not mean you didn't accept the cookies. In what? fact, you probably no, did. Yeah, you I, did I, accept them. You were saying, oh, I always say no. No, oh, I just out keep doesn't scrolling? mean no. No, no that usually that's means, opting in. That's usually wow. opting in. That is in. beat up. <laughs> well, here's the thing, though. Sometimes that helps you because it makes it a smoother experience for you. But you should know what these cookies are doing with your information. So I'm going to say cookies settings instead of saying accept in the black box. Okay. I'm going to go to cookie settings. And some now, of them aren't aren't clear. obvious. No, they're not. Like that one was not obvious. No. Sometimes it pops up right here, but then it fades away, and you think it went away, but it didn't. Okay, so. Always active is for strictly necessary cookies. That basically means we need these cookies for this website to function. The other ones are performance cookies. Okay, that helps the website to be sort of fast. Okay, um, but, but you if can I, still turn I can that always off. totally turn that off. I can also turn off functionality cookies. So if I do that, I'm toggling everything to the left. I confirm my choices. So here's the thing. When I come back to this website, maybe it's going to need me to log in again. Maybe okay. it won't remember everything I put into my Whereas shopping Whereas if you would have said yes, it would just remember you. Exactly. And okay. make it a little smoother and easier. Okay. Now, what about if you're, you're trying to get in and out of this mm -hmm. and, and they don't make it so quite so obvious? Right. So you've got to then go back to, let's see, are you... Okay, let me go to my settings here and show you that. So here, with a phone, for example, um, you just want to go down to the bottom where mm -hmm. your settings are or with an iPad or whatever, an Apple device. And um, typically, okay, sorry, you're talking about cookies on websites? No, no, I'm talking about getting rid of with this. App trackers um, yeah, and that yeah, sort of thing? Exactly. Okay. So that's the other thing. We talk about cookies. That's for websites. Right. App trackers are for the apps on your phone. It's a very similar concept. Mm -hmm. Apps want to know as much about you as possible. Right. They want to build a digital profile. So they can of sell that information. Should we Sometimes the location, they sell it to third party. But location services can be helpful. For example, you probably have a coffee chain yes. app on your site. Mm -hmm. You want to order a cup of coffee. Right. Because the, it knows where you are, it tells you where the nearest place is to mm -hmm. pick up that coffee. But you okay. can always turn all your apps off and then okay. see how you like the, the apps working okay. and then go from there. But let me just show you how to turn that on. Okay. So you go into your settings. Right. You're going to go down to, where is it? Is it privacy? There we go. There, there you go. Location and then you're going to go to tracking Ooh. right there. It's the second one down. And see, if you just turn this one off, then oh. everything will stop tracking you. And this comes because Apple that. decided, you know what, we want people to have more transparency. We want people to know what exactly mm -hmm. is happening with their information, which apps are sharing that information, and then you can have control over it. You can also say, actually, I want ESPN or Seamless mm -hmm. to know my location. But 
just so you know, they know your age. They right. know what kind of device you're using. They know your wow. gender, your username, your passwords. So there's a lot of information that other companies have about you. Now you should be able to take that control back if you want to. And I didn't realize you could do it one at a time. You so can, absolutely. Yep. Cookies very, very and good. trackers. Yes, and we should mention for Android devices, sure. you want to update your software to uh, the number 12 system. That's the latest software update. That will always help you to have the best privacy controls. And go into your privacy dashboard. It's so important to know that these options are available to you now. I'm hoping uh, that people were able to literally just do that with you right now. But if now. not, they can go to the website and they can we'll go back and there. watch it. And right. It. Except good. our website will, will, will be tracking you. So. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> no, I'm it's kidding. True. It's a joke. Oh my just God. kidding. Oh my just goodness. kidding. Vicky, thank, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.